What does Netflix and ancient Greece have in common? It turns out that the same storytelling elements that make us enjoy stories since ancient Greek tragedies up to modern Netflix series are the same elements that, when applied to role-playing games and storytelling, make the magic happen. Outstanding characters and outstanding stories. But those elements are almost never really applied in published campaigns, nor they are discussed in D&D rulebooks. And no wonder, they're not easily translated into D&D. After all, it's an open world with a story with an open end. They demand discussion, preparation, and a certain degree of effort from your D&D group. They may be hard for a DM unfamiliar to RPG dynamics to grasp. None of us in our D&D group had a major in literature. We, we were just a bunch of friends who loved role-playing and storytelling and who were trying to make those elements come alive in our, in our campaign. We were exploring, we were allowing ourselves to try new things, and we were certainly moving along a track with unsure footing. And yet, we seemed to have nailed it. If we were insecure whether we were going towards a meaningful direction, this article on dramatic arts we had found gave theoretical validation to our thoughts and gave us the confidence we needed to go all in. We managed to translate these great storytelling elements to our D&D campaign and the, and the results were so, so rewarding. <laughs>